My last question is really about emerging technologies, uh, such as APIs and distributed ledger technology. How is that making an impact on cross-border payments? Well, absolutely. SWIFT GPI was invented, it started by the premise of improving the experience. With GPI, we built in APIs deliberately from the outset. APIs are a great technology that allow corporates to unlock value for having visibility on the payment flow. And now with the migration to ISO 20022, that will provide even more structure and possibilities for automation. So they can integrate it in their ERP. We're also using APIs to further integrate the GPI experience into DLT, distributed ledger-based ecosystems. We have developed a multi-bank standard that will provide even more structure and possibilities for automation. We are a global open and trusted ecosystem. You can do many of these things in a closed loop solution, but it won't be ubiquitous, it won't have the reach. The payment ecosystem should be a totally open ecosystem. A truly modern payment system is the one that is open and enables the flow of payment to everyone and everywhere. Over the last two and a half years, we've been developing our GPI initiatives. The next step for us is to start linking the two together, start linking the two together. But also interconnecting real-time payment platform that we do not operate, that we do not operate. And it is precisely the scope of a, a proof of concept, a proof of concept This is not about SWIFT doing everything itself. The whole idea is really to enable players to build value propositions on top. You know, business models that were not possible a couple of years ago are now possible. When you think of APIs, when you think of cloud, when you think of machine learning, big players are starting to get very interested in payments. You have 180 currencies in the world. That's roughly 30,000 possible combinations of bridging that has to be done. But that has to be where we go. That is the nature of the challenge that we are trying to deal with. What we want to do with the industry challenge is bring together the diverse parties, our customers, internal SWIFT teams, and the startups. If one of those groups is missing, this thing doesn't work. I'd like to welcome you up to our family table. Um, we've got the three startups that we're going to be working with as part of our industry challenge here, seated around the table. I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to ask them to stand up and introduce themselves. So first of all, Sergey, would you like to stand up and introduce yourself, please? My name is Sergey Nazarov. I'm uh, the CEO of SmartContract.com. In the future, we'll integrate with Chainlink. The bank will do uh, an off-chain payment through SWIFT. Then this payment information will pass from the SWIFT API to the Chainlink Oracle and the Chainlink SWIFT Oracle. Yes, I was kind of surprised at the appetite which senior folks had for actually implementing the technology in the near term. So when I started the challenge, I was thinking that the degree of appetite didn't exist. And by the end of the challenge, I had a very genuine feeling that this was priority on, on a senior level agenda that was going to go to production in the near term, which which I was very impressed by. 2019 looks very you know, great for, uh, for GPI. That's going to be the norm. We want every payment on SWIFT to be a GPI payment by the end of 2020, worth more than 300 billion US dollars. Worth more than 300 billion US dollars. These numbers are truly amazing. This concludes the Bankers Masterclass series in association with SWIFT on a new era in global payments.